Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to understand account contact relation in Salesforce, the ACR object. And uh, we are going to see uh, the contact to multiple accounts feature. That is how to relate a single contact to multiple accounts. So let's start. So the contact to multiple account feature, what was the need for it? So uh, let me take a real life scenario. People often work with more than one company. A business owner might own more than one company or a consultant might work on behalf of multiple organizations. So there is a need to re uh, sometimes require a single contact to be associated to multiple accounts. So you can easily track the relationship between people and businesses without creating duplicate records. So when we use the contact to multiple accounts, e each contact still requires a primary contact. So uh, when you create a contact and there is a account name field on that so that uh, whatever value for account you populate that would be the primary relationship and when you add related accounts to that contact all those would be indirect relationships or second relationships uh, the, the contact and its primary account have a direct relationship and all the other relationships are indirect relationship the api name of the object that represents this relationship is account contact relation right uh, so let's discuss some additional info. Uh, so account contact role uh, is a is an object that was used prior to this feature. Uh, that is the account contact relationship. So account contact role represented the role that a contact plays on an account. So uh, let's say if we can have a single contact and we can have multiple uh, account contact role for that. But in the Lightning experience, Salesforce has decided to move to move with the contacts to multiple account feature instead of account contact role. Another feature that is the person accounts. The person account stores information about the individual people by combining certain account and contact fields in a single record. So sometimes you uh, are doing business with instead of business accounts, you're doing it with single persons. So if you want to represent that uh, Salesforce has a feature of person accounts. But in this video, we are going to focus mostly on the contacts to multiple accounts uh, for person account. I'll create a different video. So uh, just a point. To, a point I want to highlight, person accounts can't have a direct relationship with other accounts or contacts when you enable them. However, you can use contacts to multiple account feature, which we are talking in this video to create indirect relationships between person account and another person account or a business account or a contact, right? Uh, we, as I discussed, we have an account contact relation object in Salesforce and that object has two fields, account ID and the contact ID which relates to account and contact. So the question is, write a SQL query to find all contacts of an account which have the role as ITP. So I won't tell the answer. You can write that in the comment section. I'll just see if that's uh, correct or not. So now let's see a demo of contacts to multiple accounts. So I'll go to my Salesforce org. So this is a Salesforce org setup and a search for account settings. I'll click on account settings and uh, enable this contact to multiple account settings. So, and save it. The feature has been enabled. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to account. I'll search for page layouts, account layout. And I'll add the related contacts li related list uh, here. Uh, so I'll search for related contacts and I'll add it to the account page layout. Similarly, in the contact page layout, I'll, I'll just quickly do that. Then we'll, we'll see how we can create this relationship. So we have the related accounts relation, related list. Click save. Override. Now let me go to firstly go to an account test. ACR account. When we create an account, only the name field is mandatory. So I've created that. So now I'll create a new contact which relates to this. So I'll name it test ACR. So in the account name field, we have you, this test account is populated. So this will be the direct relationship or the primary relationship for this contact. Now let me click on save. 
So I, you can see that uh, this, uh, I can uh, see this contact being populated in the related contacts related list as well as the contacts related list. And this is the direct relationship between account and contact since the account name is populated here. So now I, there is another contact and I want to associate that contact to this account. So let me open this test ACR contact page. Now, uh, this test in the test ACR, I can see that this uh, account, this contact is related to the test ACR account, right? Now, uh, I want to associate this test ACR contact to a different account. So, how I will do that? I'll click on add relationship. I'll select different account. I'll select some role here and then I'll save it. So now if I open this related contacts one, I can see this is the direct relationship that is the on the contact account name field. This test ACR account is populated and this different account is an indirect relationship. Now I'll click on this drop down. I'll click on view relationship. So it will take me to the ACR records. This ACR records the contact to multiple accounts. So yeah. Um, Whenever we click on the add relationship button an account contract relationship is created in the back end and this is relating that account, the other account to the contact which uh, so now this contact is related to multiple accounts. Uh, similarly, if I will go to this uh, account page different contacts related list, I can see that two contacts are present. I'll click on view all. So uh, these two contacts are related to that account. So uh, from here also we can add a relationship directly from the account and we can add a contact directly here related to the account. Similarly from the contact page as well we can do that and these all will represent a relationship in the back end which we can view by clicking on this drop down and clicking on view relationship. So that's all uh, everyone for this video and hope you like this video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.